Welcome to Chaos Space Program. Today I think it's time to make a one stage plane that can get all the way up to orbit uh, and then back again. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to go with. I'm kind of tempted to go with either one. I want to definitely want to go with this kind of cockpit. So I'm just trying to think which one I'll go for. I think that one just looks cooler, right? We have to go with that. Now I think we definitely should have a little bay in this that would carry our instruments and everything. Uh, I think as well we probably should give it a pod just in case there's ever a point where it's needed to be uh, unmanned. So it's a little cargo bay. Maybe we should go with a bigger size cargo bay actually. So the main thing is going to be figuring out how the heck to get this thing into, obviously, space without it uh, crashing and burning. So let's turn on all these things. Maybe we should go for the small pod. Maybe we shouldn't take off more than we can chew to begin with. Yeah. You know what, actually? You know what? Scrap this. Um. You, I am. Whoa, <laughs> that was a bad. I'm gonna go with this one because what I can do is where would it be? Would it be propulsion, wouldn't it? You've got this one with the dual, or you can also call these the Kerbal pants or the or underwear, the leg boxers. And what we can do is we can put uh we can put air intakes on the front of this. Like so. And that could be a good way of streamlining this whole thing. We'll then put the AI core here. This just means we have the backup if we need it of having a AI controlled vessel just in case it ever ends up being unmanned for some weird reason. So then we have a small cargo bay. I'm just wondering if it's too small. I think we should stay small to begin with. We always put in a big one if we want in the later later stages. <clears throat> so we're going to want a liquid fuel tank, an oxidizer for the orbital stage. Uh, how much do we need though? Hmm. I'm really wondering if we can get away with. Yeah, how much can we get away with? How much do we need? We want this thing to be as light as possible. Let's try this, right? So we have our liquid fuel here and our thingy there. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll take this out. So the liquid fuel in there for a moment. Just try and balance out the weight on this. It's already getting a bit cumbersome, which is not what I wanted to happen. I think this doesn't this also have fuel? It does. So maybe we're actually going over the top by having this one here with the fuel and oxidizer, because we already have fuel in this one and fuel in this one, which probably means we should actually disconnect that. Swing it right around again. So we've got two intakes on the front there. Then we're obviously going to need some engines. So we'll stick some sabers on. So the idea is this is a one stage vessel, so there's no disconnect now or anything. So we're going to try and get the balance of this thing correct. So. Give something like this. Now, where's the wings that go with this? Let's see, something like that. Balance is not too bad. We'll obviously need some control surfaces. 
That's actually not bad at all. Um, I'm wondering if we're going over the top with the wing surface, maybe too much. Is there a thinner version of this that we could fit on with this one instead? Let's get rid of that for the moment. Let's see if there is. I want one that would fit with this. To be honest, it might be too small. So what do we have? We have that one's too big. This one's that way. This one's a bit square. That one does actually fit. Okay. What about this one? So we want a bunch of these, and I guess we want to stick on another small one, if we can do this in order. So we've got to just nudge this up a bit more, make it look a little bit nicer. It's not too bad. And something like this. She's quite mean looking. She's really mean looking. Some control surfaces. Balance isn't too bad. Then we'll need some. Where's the just small Della wings? Yeah, these might just be good. Something like there. Uh, with these guys, oh, we need to get these correctly lined up. Mm, which ones do I want to use? Maybe those ones. Then we can chuck them on. Or should we go for a single? I think dual, just to give us a bit more control. Now, I don't know if this thing is just going to spin the heck out of control when it actually goes up. Because she does look quite nuts. So let's see, let's add another set of wings just to give us a bit more control on this thing. Something like that. It's not too bad, actually. Hmm. It's not the worst. We're going to certainly lose weight from the back as we burn fuel. We could lock this just to give us a bit more weight up front. We'll see how it all flies though once we put it all together. So what we're going to need is a piece of landing gear up front here. Something like that. And then we'll need to have another bit of landing gears back here. And try and get these to be as... Obviously you want them pointing perfectly forward as well. Let's try something like that for the moment. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure they're gonna keep the wheels safe and uh, the engine safe when we land. I don't really want to go sticking them back here. And we won't be a lift off to the end of the runway. So let's get some structural pylons which will stick our wheels out there a little bit further. And give that a go. I see. We're still gonna have the problem of actually getting off the ground because our wheels are too far forward. Let's try that. That way when the elevators here pinch up, pinch up, is that it? Not even a thing. That means we'll push down and they'll rot that means this, this point will be a pivot point, so they'll actually be pushed down here and they should get some lift. What we'll do though is we will put a couple of the control surfaces up front to give this thing a little bit more controls uh, about here, maybe? I think that might help. Now, do you want to fit anything else? Do you want to have RCS on this thing? It's probably worth bringing across a little bit of RCS just in case we have to run out of fuel. We can use it to deorbit uh, in space. I'll bring these back a touch. Oh. Bring them back a bit so I can 
fit on a couple of controllers. And we want one on there. And let's see one. We do kind of want this back. Yeah, that's fine. One on the underside to match up with that one on top. And the same here. Alright, that should give us that. We need some fuel now to actually put in that. So that would be usable. Uh, I guess, yeah, we could open up the bay. And probably fit in a couple of these. Something like that. That should work. Uh, maybe the other side. Yeah, that would work good. Okay. I'm not sure how this thing's going to fly. Uh, let's call it NX1. Save it. Guess Jeb's gonna be flying. No, it's Bob. I forgot Jeb and Thingy are dead still. They somehow died in their. Uh, they had a, a launch vehicle. They helped to propel the. I think it was one of my test vessels up into orbit, and they ended up dying somehow. Okay. So we we got Barrett with us. All right, we're gonna. See what this thing could do. It's a bit bigger than I first envisioned when I was thinking about it. I think I'll certainly try a single engine version as well. We'll wait, we'll wait a bit. Give that a go next. Well, okay, she's lifts off beautifully. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, almost losing complete control there. She almost lifted up too too well. Which maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. Alright, let's get altitude and let's get speed. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this thing can do. So I know we're gonna be getting pretty good intakes from this. We could have added some extra intakes, but I think we should be fine. So right now we are climbing like Belio and we are <laughs> Accelerating relatively quickly. Let's just see what everything is. So the station, and everything is around the other side of the world right now. So if we wanted to intersect with them, that would be a bad idea. But we're not doing that. We're just doing a test run, seeing how this this puppy does in its first test launch. Right, what are we at? 5,000 uh, air intakes are looking okay. I'm going to bring the nose down a little bit. Say about there. I'm going to start fast forward now. See how stable this thing is. 3x, totally stable. Excellent. And we're, we can see the, uh, the base down there. Engines are running beautiful. We are getting 73. We're increasing the newtons for thrust, that's good. Air intakes are starting to deplete a little bit. Let's slow down and see what that actually is. Uh, we can see we're losing quite a chunk of air. So let's bring the nose down. See if we can speed up a bit. We'll attempt to keep getting uh, a little bit of altitude. But I, really, I want to keep these engines running on air for a while before we decide to switch to using up our oxidizer which is going to be getting used from that one and that one that's the only oxidizer we've got is those two tanks which I'm hoping will be enough right, well, I think what I'm going to do is throttle up and see how fast I can get this thing moving oh look at that we're getting re-entry effects holy crap <laughs> holy crap uh, I was about, about hit, almost hit EVA. Oh hell yeah, look at that. 
That's crazy. It's all he can see is that. Yeah, Aaron takes apparently doing well, and that's probably because we're falling, are we? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna start putting those up. Right, gotta watch. It really wants to push its head up. It really, really, really wants to flip over. I think we're gonna go for it. We're gonna hit 800 meters a second. Uh, we're not using any oxidizer yet. Right, air intakes are starting to drop dramatically now. Problem is we might flat spin, because probably one of the engines will switch for the other one does. And then we'll be in a flat spin, which will suck. I'm going to cut. I'm going to switch these manually. I should have set up a thingy for this. Uh, toggle mod. Close cycle. Toggle mod. Okay, now we're going to throttle up again. Let's see if we can get into space. How are we doing? Lap waps, 29,000. Still got atmospheric effects behind me, so it's not like we are... Uh, we are completely out of the atmosphere right now. We're accelerating beautifully though. But you can see our oxidizer is just running out like crazy right now. So I think we probably can do something more efficient. You can see the air intakes are about to go. Oh sorry, what am I talking about? Air intake's got nothing to do with anything right now. Alright, that gets us 75,000. So I'm going to try... Uh, fast forward. So the 75,000 and then attempts to get in orbit there. Yeah, look at our oxidizer. Yeah, okay, that's not good enough. All right, so we're going to River Flight 2. Space plane, hell. All right, I think I've got an idea. I tried loading it up. See if I've got it in here. X37. 